Hello YouTube and welcome to the tutorial on how to register a free .np domain and how to get a 1GB free hosting from free hosting websites. So now what I'm going to do is first of all to register a .com.np I'm going to go into register.com.np website. So each of the citizens of Nepal is subjected to one domain name uh, uh, they, um, uh, to the website and they can get it all free of cost. So you don't need to pay for a .com.np. And you may want to have this uh, domain name if you want to market yourself to a local audience. So now, first of all, what I'm going to do is uh, once you go on to this web page, you'll actually get on to this page right here. So you can check the domain availability uh, by typing in the name right here. So now, let's say for example, your name is David Smith. So what you have to do is you have to type in your name. Otherwise, the hostmasters are going to reject your domain. So let's say, for example, your domain name is David Smith. I'm going to type in Smith David. All right. So this is how you play with your name. So you can uh, say something like Smith Dave or Smith D or whatever you want on the domain name that you want. So uh, it has to be the letters in your name that is written in your citizenship itself because you want to uh, apply that uh, as a proof uh, that you exist. So now what you have to do is you have smithdavid.com.np. So I'm just going to hit sets right here. And then uh, you can see that smithdavid.com.np is an available website. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do register now right here. So now since you're new to the site, what you have to do is you have to create a user and then enter your email address over here. So over here, what you have to do is you have to write your full name. So just write David Smith, which is your supposed full name right here. And the username will be your email address. So right now I'm using a dis this disposable email. You have to use your personal uh, email in this section right here. So over here, I'm just going to paste this email. All right, so that's gonna be my email. And password would be tutortube123. And password again, tutor tube one two three all right there you go so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an account and once you do that i'm going to save the password just like that it says thank you for registering please check your email to activate your account so what you have to do is you have to go back to your inbox where you'll get your email verification letter so just click on it and uh you'll get a verification mail right here so it's loading yeah all right there you go so they say dear david smith please click on the link below below so uh, click on the verify link right here and what it does is it'll go back to that website uh, register.com.np so now what you have to do is just say remember me and sign in and over here you can see that you get get your um, domain name right here which is smithdavid.com.np which is registered so now enter your primary name service so right now uh, I'm, I'm going to use 000 uh, web, web host uh, by Hostinizer, uh, which, uh, which I'll be using to host my website in. So I'm going to add in the primary and secondary name servers of that website right there. So the primary name server for 000 web host is ns01.000 webhost.com. All right. So this is where all my files are going to be stored in there. So now this actually will change according to the host uh, that you'll be registering in. So just select the primary name server and the secondary name server. That's the, this website um, uh, let's, uh, that this website gives you. So now over here, uh, I already know the address. So I've written it down to NS1, NS01000 web host and NS02000 web host.com. So over here in the administrative contact, just write in your name. So write David, all right? And then you don't need to um, add in the organization name. That's just for the organization uh, domains. You just need to fill it. Uh, fill the one with res, a red asterisk here. So country is Nepal, province state uh, for Kathmandu is three, and city will be Kathmandu right there. And address, uh, just say something like uh, Baneshwar, all right? And then enter your email address over here. I'm just going to use the same email address that I generated uh, for this tutorial. So just going to type it. And mobile phone, just write down your 10 mobile digit number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is a random number. 
And over here in the technical contact, uh, if you have a technical team, then write down there, uh, write down the technical person's email uh, and the names right here. But right now I'm going to just say copy administrative contact because you want to host the website yourself and it copies down the same information right there. And then what you have to do is click save and continue. And over here, what I have is now it uh, actually requires you to upload the document title over here. There are two documents that is copy of your citizenship and the uh, cover letter. And if you're registering for a company, a copy of your company registration and a cover letter. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select document title, select cover letter, and I'm going to attach the cover letter right here. So I'm going to click browse and over here, I'm going to select the cover letter. So I uploaded the cover letter and press save image right here. And that's the cover letter right there. And then I have my citizenship document. So registration, citizenship document, registration uh, certificate for the company and citizen for your citizens, citizenship uh, document if it is your personal website. So just click on browse and then click on citizenship right there. So just save image and then it gets uploaded right there. So in the cover letter, you actually have to write this. So this is an example cover letter. So let's say I'm uh, registering my domain as smithdavid.com.np. So I'm going to write my date at the top. And two, I'm going to address to the hostmaster, Mercantile Communication Private Limited. Subject will be about domain registration. And here I've written, Dear Sir, Madam, I'd like to request you uh, for the domain registration of STDP colon double slash www.smithdavid.com.np for which I shall be very much obliged to you and uh, thanking you sincerely write down your signature here and write down David Smith. So what you want to do right here is type this out, leave the blank space, print this out, uh, say, uh, write down your signature, scan it and then um, send it as a JPEZ file. So note that the JPEZ files must be less than 800 KB, which is the requirement of this website right here. So now once you do that, what you can do is you can see that the request domain option has been enabled. So just click on that. All right. So once you click that, uh, the uh, site authors will review your uh, document and then will approve the, your document if everything is valid. So uh, if your citizenship contains the names David Smith, then they will approve the document. Otherwise, they will reject the document. So you can also uh, see active domain. Right now, I got none. So if they uh, once they approve it and log into this website, what you can do is you can go to the active domain and you will get those information right there. So under new requests under approval, you can also edit uh, the existing documents right there and click on request domain. All right, there you go. It's loading. And uh, then what you can also do is you can view those information right there and then uh, you can edit the doc or view the information that has been there. So you can actually go in and change in the primary and secondary name servers if you, <coughs> sorry, if you wish to change your domain names, um, if you wish to change your hosting service. All right. So that's that for uh, the .com.np registration and just register it and wait for the approval. And meanwhile, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a free web hosting site called 000webhost.com. Uh, so this is a quite reliable uh, web hosting service. It's absolutely free, like it mentions in the site, and you can actually pay uh, to get a premium service uh, that does not have ads and lets you host unlimited websites. But over here, what I'm going to do is going to go for a free sign up. All right, just like that. And it asks you for your email. Just copy down your email address over here. Uh, use your personal ID for this again. And in the password, I'm going to write tutor tube one, two, three, just like that. And in the website name, I'm going to say uh, this is going to be a test uh, tutor tube website, just like that. And you can see that the website name has been um, generated right there and click on get free hosting. I'm going to save the password just like that. All right. So it's loading and in the view message section, you'll get your email. So let's go back to the list, back to the main inbox. And you're going to find that web host also sent you a confirmation letter. So just click on this and then click on the uh, button that appears over here. It's loading. All right. So just click on verify email and it'll take you to a new piece just like that. So now your email has been verified. 
uh, you don't have to worry about this just click on an empty spot over here and the email is verified so now what you have to do is you have to manage the website test tutor tube website so now this is the temporary uh, website address that they have provided over here so now in order to add in the web address that you registered in uh, registry register.com.np let's go to set web address right here all right so just say it's okay i don't mind web hosting branding and over here you can see that there's an own domain and buy domain so if you want to buy a dot com or something then you can go to buy domain but here we're going to use our own domain so we are going to use use my own domain just like that and over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in uh, the domain name that i registered in registry register.com.np so i'm just gonna type smith uh, s m i t s smith david dot com dot np just like that and i'm gonna type uh, i'm gonna click on part domain so once i do that what happens is that the domain uh, will wait for name service and you can also see this <coughs> like for example uh in the own domain you can see that it tells you to uh add in the ns1 and ns2 address right here so if you forget the ns1 and ns2 address this will actually provide it right here so i already knew this so i, I actually added in uh, added it beforehand so you can follow the same guideline just like that so once it parks the domain uh it's actually uh that's it so right now what you have is you have a temporary address right here which you can use to upload files into and test your website so i can actually open the website and you can see that it actually has hosted the website once the review team reviews your documents and your website is live this will actually appear once you type in uh, smithdavid.com.np so it's as easy as that and it is all free of cost so now what you can also do is to upload your website you don't want uh, others to see this space right here you can simply go to uh, file manager right here and whatever the html files you have you can upload it over here so i'm going to upload the files now all right so i'm going to upload a test website over here and to learn web designing uh, check out my muse tutorial series on the lesson on my uh, playlist of this channel itself so it is loading the file manager right here and whatever you have in the muse you can just drag it and drop it in this section below so let me show you how it is done so over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in the website files that uh, i created so over here you can see that there's the web domain registration so let me double click that and these are the website files that i created using adobe muse so over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and then now i'm going to drag all of these files into this uh, web folder right here so let me just drag that out and then what i'm going to do is just drag this in just like that and then upload that out over there so once i upload it you can see uh, that every every file is being uploaded right there and then uh it actually appears over here then over here what i'm going what i'm going to do is in this file right here so on the website list all right so on the uh file right here i'm gonna see this all right there you go uh, let me go to the website right here. Uh, let me go to the file manager over here and let me go for uh, this site, right? Yeah, okay, so it is here. Right click and open it in new tab and you can see that the web address actually works just like that. All right, so the home actually appears and the website is live now in this uh, page right there. So you can go to about page right here. You can see that the about page appears. Go to contact page the contact page appears and fact page the fact page appears so uh if the once the uh review team actually reviews your domain what will happen is that the review will uh, the domain will actually take part so if you type in smith.com dot uh dot np what will happen is that the website will actually uh, smith david.com dot np sorry smith david.com dot np this page will actually appear so that is how you host a free website uh using the dot com dot np domain name hope you guys learned something as always please check out my other tutorial websites as well and as always please like comment share and subscribe